Hey traders, Parker here with another indicator. Today, I'll be introducing you to the problematic support and resistance indicator for Thinkorswim. It's not my indicator. It's an indicator that's unused ThinkScript. Uh, you can just put in problematic support and resistance for Thinkorswim and it'll pop up. All I did was redo it or um, remaster it so that... Uh, you don't have the clouds just following each other or just on top of each other. So I actually just put the clouds in boxes. So let's get the indicator on and let's just show you what I did with it. And basically, it, it gives you three different time frames, the swing high, swing low of the three different time frames. And right now, I have it set for a 15 minute, a 30 minute, and an hour. I chose for the look back period of the swing high, swing low for the first 15 minutes, four gives you an hour. Uh, with the 30 minute, gives you two hours, and four gives you four hours. So that's how it works. And I changed the clouds colors to green being the green and red are for the third period uh light green and light red is for the second period white and pink is for the first period and you can look right here on the s p 500 it created this big four hour uh swing uh swing high swing low right or swing low i should say area right here but you got all these other lows from the 15 minute and 30 minute in there as well but that four hour a third time period uh, showing you uh, confirmation there's a lot of support there and it was created way back here same situation with the swing high up here price couldn't break a back above it when it did swing back through came back to this area of I say demand or uh, or support and it eventually it finally broke through but it had to contend with this 30 minute uh, four period look back period right here and it finally broke above it as well and it came into this area and today we can look at the spy and see this back in the same area so i would look at this area as a point of support or a point of demand on this area right here and it's also in this gap area that's what that uh pink uh dash line is showing you right there and like I said, I'm not the original uh, creator of this indicator. I just took it and uh, remastered or redid it just the same way I did with the Ben 10. Um, uh, what was the thing? Consolidation box. But if you come to their website, and like I said, just type in programmatic support and resistance. And this is a great form for other people who are uh, looking for uh coders are, are asking people for them to do certain things and ask other people contributing different ideas and new uh, new ideas and stuff and that's one of the reasons why i decided to join the community because they are out there actually helping people out and uh they also have a code on there where it's showing you how to do different things but this is a free indicator i leave the link to the description i leave the link in the description for the actual indicator uh so you can go directly to their website to get it uh the another way of using this is on a daily time frame right now it's set to the lower time frame so it's not going to show anything so if we wanted to look at it like this so we'll put this one on the daily and we'll say a five day look back period and we'll do this one for the uh weekly and we'll say four and when it comes to this one, we'll do a monthly and we'll do three. And that, uh, that'll give us a, what is it, a 90 day look back, three months. So it works on all time. Uh, I mean, works on all um, different time frames. You just have to manipulate the indicator. And if everything comes out looking really good, and we would come over here to spy, you can see this light green area. I probably need to expand this out to a little further. Okay, there's your dark green and here's your uh, red, uh, bright red for your three month look back period, hot swing, high swing, low. 
So I probably just need to change that one. But on the weekly, this light green is showing up very nice to show you different areas of support and resistance. And like I said, the white, that'd be my five day uh, look back period. And this would be your uh, swing low. And you can see how I had to contend with this area right here. This would be the pink would be your uh, five day. And this area right, this dark or light red would be your week so it continued with that broke out came back and basically that's all you're using as a possible areas of support and resistance and you look right here it found these two areas and that's what it's really contending with over here even though you had this break above just like what ann coolen says the rubber band effect it's coming back down here to retest this breakout area right here. I remember when I was watching the bullish bears, they they called the back test retest strategy. And all it's doing is uh, retesting this area of resistance. And if they can follow through and swing up, it'll be uh, support. And those other gray clouds, I should have took everything off. Should have uh, removed everything so you can actually see it. But there we go. But that, that was some levels I'm focusing on with the SPY. But this is the indicator, and I'm going to change that monthly to a two-month and see what it does. And it updated to here. So those these were your uh, original areas down here for the monthly. Create another monthly green area right here. And you can see how it really shows this area of uh, support. And this light uh, red will be your week. But for now, this is where your monthly high uh, high on a two month. Uh, and let's see what happens if I just change to a monthly and well, one month. That looks pretty cool. It shows you right here. Uh, you have this monthly swing low right here. And spy just fell into it. And right now it's uh came back out of it. and like I said before, it's battling with this right here and this resistance area from these two tops or three tops. They say it's never a triple top, but that that's a triple top. So it's battling with this area and it's retesting this area. So hopefully it, it can break above and then it had to contend with this. But ultimately this would be the all time high right here and it's showing you is that monthly high. And like I said, this is a programmatic support and resistance indicator. I leave the link to the indicator in the description. And like I said before, the only thing I did was remaster it by putting the clouds in there like this and uh, giving you the different time frames. And, and that's basically it. I think initially it only had two time frames, or it may have had three, but I, I redesigned everything in the code. And when you go to the website, you can see the difference between my code and the original originator or originator's code. But that's uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. But let's go look at Tesla before we go. Oh man. I erased all my levels for SPY. Yep, can't put them back on there. I guess I'll do it later. I just have to go put all those levels back on. That's fine. But this is Tesla. You can see how uh, the indicator found everything. And right now, Tesla is going to have to be dealing with this monthly high and this monthly high area as well. So it's currently dealing with this right here and this light no that's pink so that's a five day look back period but it had all this support down here and this is a bit monthly uh swing low and like i said this is the programmatic support and resistance indicator and it works on all different time frames you just have to manipulate the code for it. And right now, I have the lines. All these lines are hidden right now. And this is what you'll be able to manipulate and change. And you can hide the cloud for uh, for three. You can hide the time frame for three and two as well. Yeah, I added those as well. But day, week, and month. 
if you wanted to look at it in a long-term perspective. And we can actually swing it back down to the, um, let's do the 15 minute and push it back to what I had it at. Uh, 15 for 30 minute for and four hour. And this is what you get on Tesla. And this is a really cool indicator. Um, like I said, you can find a used thing script. And if you have any uh, thing, anything that you want to contribute, anything, just uh, create a profile for used thing script and uh, present it to them. And you get a lot of different responses. But the main thing with the forum is just a community of traders, community of coders. Uh, there to help each other out. So I found it really pleasant to be there and uh and very informative as well. But this will be the end of the video. I appreciate your time for taking the time out to watch this video and uh, listen to my explanation uh, behind uh, the indicators. And I wish you well in your training. Have a great day.